Hello everyone. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Today we'll talk about how to implement a couple of application patterns for a generative AI virtual assistant. We'll discuss how you can use Amazon Bedrock and Amazon Elasticash to build a scalable and robust solution. My name is Sashi Varanasi. I'm a worldwide leader for in-memory and blockchain specialist solutions architecture teams at AWS. And I'm joined by Lakshmi Perry, who is our senior in-memory specialist solutions architect. In this quick 15 minute presentation, we will discuss how you can use Bedrock, Langchain, and Elastic Cache services together to implement a generative AI chatbot. We'll dive into two application patterns. They are chat history and messaging broker patterns. The reason we picked Elastic Cache for it is for these two application patterns is because of the extreme low latency offered by Elastic Cache, that is in microseconds, and the versatility and flexibility offered by Redis data structures. As a fully managed Redis engine, Elastic Cache for Redis simplifies implementation of these two use cases for a chatbot, and we will show you how. Before we dive into this, I would like to cover a few basics about generative AI, foundation models, and Amazon Bedrock. So let's get started. Generative Artificial Intelligence, Gen AI for short is a branch of artificial intelligence that can generate new content, including conversations, stories, images, videos, and music. We believe most customer experiences and applications will be reinvented with generative AI. The true power of generative AI goes beyond a search engine or a chatbot. It will transform every aspect of how companies and organizations operate. Gen AI is powered by large models called foundation models. Amazon Bedrock offers the ability to access a range of powerful foundation models, as you can see on this slide. These large models are called foundation models, or FMs for short. In general, what makes FM special is that they can perform so many more tasks because they contain such a large number of parameters compared to regular machine learning models. These large number of parameters make them capable of learning complex concepts. And through their pre-training exposure to structured and unstructured unlabeled mountains of raw data, FMs learn to apply their knowledge within a wide range of contexts. Amazon Bedrock is the easiest way for customers to build and scale generative AI-based applications using these existing FMs and customizing them for their business needs securely and cost-effectively. Bedrock keeps the data private and secure. To fine-tune the model with customers' private data, Bedrock makes a separate copy of the base foundation model that is accessible only to the customer in their virtual private cloud. Using FMs and Bedrock API, customers can easily build Gen AI applications such as chatbots, virtual assistants, intelligent contact centers, and many more. Your data is your differentiator for generative AI. While FMs can be powerful out of the box, to be truly useful to your organization, they need access to the enterprise data sources. And to ensure you have high quality data to train your own models or customize FMs for your use cases, you need a strong data foundation. To build a strong data foundation, you need access to a comprehensive set of services that account for the scale, volume, and variety of data you need to manage. AWS offers many data services that you use today in your applications. These same data sources can be leveraged for building Gen AI applications. In this video specifically, we'll focus on how Elastic Cache for Redis can support a couple of application patterns for building a robust Gen AI chatbot or a virtual assistant. Here is a quick overview of Amazon Elastic Cache for Redis. It is a fully managed Redis compatible service that can deliver real time cost optimized performance for modern applications. Elastic Cache has unique characteristics such as it scales to hundreds of millions of operations per second. With microsecond response times, it offers enterprise-grade security, reliability, and high availability. The service is compatible with Redis, providing you with flexible built-in Redis data structures, such as hashes, JSON documents, lists, streams, and many more that can simplify your application development. 
As an in-memory data store, Elasticache is the right choice for implementing short-term or working memory use cases for your generative AI applications. Let's talk about it some more. Earlier, we talked about foundation model. Let's talk about large language models, chatbots, and memory. The foundation models that take language input and generate a synthesized output are large language models or LLMs for short. So LLMs are a category of foundation models. LLM examples include models such as Claude, Titan, and Jurassic. These models are trained on internet scale data and are designed for dialogue, so they have conversational ability. We should remember that they are trained on past content and have tendency to hallucinate if you do not provide the current context and working knowledge. To provide this new data to these models, you can fine tune them generating a custom model or you can provide data to the model through in-context learning. Context is basically providing ability to comprehend based on the environment and history. That is, model being able to understand what, where, how, why, and when before responding to a user. When you use an existing foundation model and provide context during the question and answer process flow or during inferencing using short-term and long-term memory solutions. So you can provide context using multiple ways such as prompt engineering by supplying response examples, annotating the questions and additional textual data or providing previous conversation history by supplying your enterprise data as vector encodings. This data can be supplied using two methods. We are working or short-term memory with data that needs to exist for a temporary period or via long-term memory, for example, enterprise domain data in order to make your FM domain savvy using pattern known as retrieval augmented generation. When you provide this memory and contextual data, your model will respond more intelligently and cognitively to end users. We'll first cover how you can provide context such as conversational history from a working memory or a short-term memory. Here we are using Elasticache as, as a short-term memory solution. A virtual assistant or a chatbot application can use short-term memory for data that does not need to be durably or permanently stored. Elasticache for Redis is an effective short-term memory solution that can handle high throughput, low latency, and scale well. You can use Redis data structures, in this case list, and append the chat messages to the list as they come in. The list can be saved across multiple user sessions and history can be evicted from the memory when no longer needed by using a simple time to live TTL configuration. If you are developing your virtual assistant on AWS, using Manage Elastic Cache for Redis for this purpose will prove to be cost effective and scale better. You can keep the chat history for a predetermined amount of time and use Elastic Cache as a short term memory solution. Here is a simple example in this diagram. As you can see in step one, user asks a question about the first three colors of the rainbow. The model responds with red, orange, and yellow. The follow-up question in step two is, what are the other colors? This means the model needs history of what user asked earlier and what it responded with so that it can present the other colors, not the same ones from its first answer. We'll retrieve this chat history from Elasticache in step three, provide the previous answer to the model in four so that it can respond with the rest of the colors in its final answer. As you can see, it then listed green, blue, indigo, and violet without repeating the first three colors as the model understood what it already responded to user with based on the history seen. The next application pattern is a message broker. The same service Elastic Ash Paradis can also be used as a message broker in generative AI application. In this diagram, we are leveraging the power of Redis data structure called Stream to create a message broker for our generative AI virtual assistant. Creation of an asynchronous messaging queue between the chat users and the rest of the application components is needed to avoid bottlenecks. The requests are accepted from the end users and queued in Elastic Ash for Redis queue. The consumer picks up the questions and makes the actual API calls to LLMs via bedrock. The responses are sent back to the response queues. This will help in better scaling of a high volume chat application. If you do not have a message broker implemented, the application will block the resources for each of the requests received from the users, and the user will be blocked until the responses come back for each of these messages. 
with asynchronous communication implemented via Elasticash for Redis-Q, the user can send multiple messages and the resources are not tied up end-to-end -end until we have responses coming back from the model. This simple implementation using a fully managed Elasticash for Redis implementation will allow a high volume virtual assistant to scale better and support high throughput cost effectively. With that, I would like to turn this over to Lakshmi, who will walk us through the code of a virtual assistant we built and demonstrate how Elastic Ash can be implemented to store the chat history. Over to you, Lakshmi. Thank you, Sashi. Chatbots are becoming increasingly integral to our digital experiences. It's not just about answering questions. It's about remembering what we've said and responding in a way that makes sense within the ongoing conversation. Let's take a closer look at the architecture Sashi has outlined. We'll uncover the three key components that help us to build these intelligent chatbots and discover how we can seamlessly store the chat history in Elastic Cache, ensuring scalability and speed. Amazon Bedrock provides you the gateway to building and scaling AI applications effortlessly. With a playground to experiment and a unified API for different models, Bedrock provides you the flexibility you need to harness the power of these models. The LLM I'm using today is Claude, a large language model developed by Anthropic. I'm going to access it through Bedrock. Langchain is a framework that helps us unlock the full potential of language models. It allows applications to be context aware. No message gets left behind. Every chat history is tracked externally or in the buffer and seamlessly integrated into the conversation. We know LLMs are stateless. How do we implement memory into LLM? Langchain's conversation buffer memory is perfect for storing and retrieving messages. For longer conversations, we have the conversation summary memory, creating a neat summary of the entire chat history. But what if you need to persist the user's chat history within a session? Elastic Cache for Redis, a scalable in-memory store, helps ensure the session is retained during browser reloads or when the application is restarted, and data can be retrieved with sub-millisecond latency. We're utilizing Langchain's conversation summary buffer memory to retrieve the chat history from Elastic Cache and summarize it for context. This chatbot interface is powered by Streamlit. When I log in, my user ID becomes the session for interaction with the chatbot. In Redis, this is my key. And I store the chat history as the list object. This ensures a personalized experience and helps us maintain the context seamlessly. Now let's put our chatbot to work. I'll ask it to draft a four sentence email to highlight some upcoming events for our employees. Keep in mind, we're aiming for clear and concise communication. We want the chatbot to be more than just conversational. I'll ask it to add a few specific events to the emails, including a networking event early, early April and a gift giveaway event in June and a Christmas party towards the end of the year. Great. Now, let's see if it can further stay in context and edit the email. I'm asking the chatbot to enhance the email's readability so that it can reformat the events using bullet points, making it more visually appealing. Great. In our last task, we are demonstrating the email the chatbot's further ability to edit the email staying in context. I'll request that it removes all the events scheduled after September 2024. Awesome. Our chatbot effortlessly maintains the context through these tasks and can make in email edits summarizing the context. Redis is an in-memory key value store. The values can be simple strings or data structures like hashes, lists, or sets. Here, I'm using list object to store my chat history. 
It helps maintain the chronological order of chat messages. These operations are lightning fast, ensuring high throughput and low latency. Data in Redis can be stored as long as you need it with the time to live settings. Now let's focus on something more critical, security and privacy. In the world of chatbots, these are paramount concerns. With Bedrock, you're not just building the chatbots, you're building them securely. Bedrock adheres to the highest security standards, ensuring the sensitive data remains protected. You have control over the data you collect and how it's used. User privacy is non-negotiable priority. Whether you're co using it for a coding assistant to build new applications or using it to generate creative contact for new product proposal, you can now ensure the data stays within your account and the privacy is protected. Thank you so much for joining us on this demo. Before I wrap up, I do want to leave you with a few resources that can help you get started with Bedrock, Elastic Cash for Redis, and some of the key features they offer.